our praise is up to him, his blessings come down to us. I said, when we send our praise is up to him, his blessings come down to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Or what things in our life would we make right today to make sure that we're sure if that trumpet should sound that we'd go home to be with him? Oh, simply be sure. I want to be, I don't want to play a game with this. Yeah. I don't want to play a guessing game. Well, maybe I'm all right. And maybe I'll go up in the rapture. I want to be sure. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to be sure Amen. that everything's all right should that trumpet sound, that everything's all right between me and God. If the trumpet should sound right now, are you sure of your salvation? Are there things in your life that you need to make right to be sure? He began to, uh, Peter began to write and he said, besides this, you know, somebody said, well, how can I be sure? Well, the Bible tells us, and, and, and we preached not long ago, a couple of weeks ago, on, on this more than just believing. And you see, Peter even tells us in, in uh, uh this chapter that we just read in verse 5, he said, and besides all this, give all diligence, add to your faith. See, we, we, we've got to begin to add some things to our life Amen. because it is just more than believing. He said, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. You know what the word virtue means? Not only does it mean excellency, but it means power. So, I've got to add to my faith power. Come on. Amen. Yes. And the power of knowledge. Right. Come on. Amen. And to knowledge, temperance. The temperance, patience. And the patience, God. These, these are things and areas that we can work on in our life to make sure that we're sure should that trumpet sound yes. today. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Knowledge, temperance, temperance, patience, patience, godliness, to godliness, brother, leave kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you, if these things be in you, Amen. and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. Could I tell you what the Bible says about us if we don't bear fruit? He said, we're cut down, we're cast into the fire. Amen. We cut down and we're cast into the fire. So if these things be in us, if we begin to add to our faith all of these things that the Word of God talks about. Amen. He said, if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. In other words, you'll be a producer. Yes. A bear of good fruit. In the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But he said, But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten. Mm -hmm. Church, we never want to forget where God's brought us from. Amen. He said, He said, if, if these things are not in you, then you've forgotten that you've been purged from your old sins. Then he said in verse 10, Wherefore the rather, brethren, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. I want to be sure. Somebody said, well, I don't know what my calling is. Well, I could give you, I could give you some hints through Amen. the Word of God. The Bible said in one place you're called to be saints. Amen. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. One place said, said that you should... Show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. You've been called out of darkness. You've been called to be a light unto Jesus. Amen. He said, make your calling and your election sure. Listen, I want you to be sure. Amen. I don't, I, I, you know, we don't have time to play a guessing game. That's right. We don't have time for maybe so or I hope so. Amen. We need to be at the place that I know so. Right. Yes, sir. I know so. I, I, I know where I'm headed if that trumpet sounds. Amen. I know where I'm headed if I take my last breath today. 
today. Yes, yes. I, I know where I'm headed should I get uh, killed in a car wreck today. Amen. Yes, I do. You know, we don't like to think about things like that happening. Why? Because we, we have the mentality that we're going to be around forever. Amen. That's right. right. In the natural. I know I'm going to live forever in the spiritual. Amen. But we have a mentality sometimes that I'm going to be around forever in the natural. That only happens to other people. Bless him, Lord. Well, should it not, and should it happen to you, are you sure of your salvation today? Amen. Bless him, Lord. Are you sure where you're headed today? He said, he said give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Amen. Give diligence to that. In other words, pay, but make sure to pay attention. Give diligence. Give diligence to make your peace or your calling and your election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I begin to add to my faith, all these things that it mentions, this, this knowledge and this temperance and this virtue and this brotherly kindness and charity or which is love, if I add these Thank to my faith, I can begin to open up an entrance into the kingdom of God, abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of God. Amen. You see, because Jesus said that he came to give us life and life more abundantly. Amen. Somebody, somebody said, well, <laughs> he said, well, well, we're going to get a bond of life. Yeah, but there, there's things you've got to add to. There's things you've got to do. There's some things you've got to do to, to. My Lord. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know, I understand the Bible said it's not by works of righteousness which we have done. But he also says if you'll add to these things, if you'll add to your faith, there is a, a entrance abundantly into the everlasting kingdom. Amen. Amen. I want to be partakers of that divine nature, of that abundant life that He can give us today. I'm not satisfied with just the status quo, so to speak. I'm not just satisfied with, with coming on Sunday morning Amen. And, and just worshiping just a little while and going home. I, I, I want to get into the, the abundant part. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I said, I want to get into the abundant part. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Are you sure? Be sure. Be sure. Praise God. And abundant treasures into the everlasting kingdom. When we begin to add to our faith. Praise God. Matthew's Gospel, the 22nd chapter. I don't have a long message today, but in the 22nd chapter, in verse 1, Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is likened to a certain king. So we want that abundance entrance into his everlasting kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is, is likened to a certain king which made a marriage for his son. And he sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And they would not come. My, my, my. They would not come. <laughs> Got some this morning that would not come. That's right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. One, one of these days I preached a message one time and, and I ought to just preach it again. And it was simply this, while you were gone, the bridegroom came. Amen. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Bible said while they're talking about the five wise and five foolish virgins. Bible said the five foolish while they went to buy. Amen. The bridegroom came. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. I, I give five something. Oh, hey. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. If I was some people. I'd be afraid while I was gone away from the house of God, the bridegroom yes. would come. Amen. Yes, sir. The 
kingdom of heaven is likened to a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call him that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come again he sent forth other servants telling them which were bidden behold I prepared my dinner my oxen and my families are killed and all the things are ready come unto the marriage but they made light of it and went their ways one to his farm another to his merchandise while they were gone. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Amen. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not owned a wedding garment. What happened? He forgot to add two. Huh? My, my. He forgot to add two. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in here that not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And said the king to the servant, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him out of darkness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. And then verse 14, For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called. What Peter say? He said, Give, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Amen. That sure, that sure means steadfast. That, 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 that sure you know, uh, me solid. Make sure. Make sure. Amen. For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called. The Bible said that God, not willing that any should perish, right. but that all should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, somehow, some way, God gives opportunities and calls me. But many are called, but few are chosen. So he said, he said, make give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know what that word election means when you translate it? It means your choice or selection. Make your choice sure. Make your selection sure. Amen. Make your calling and election sure. Yeah. Make it sure today. Don't let it be a guessing game to you. Don't let it be an I hope so. Let it be an I know so. Amen. Yes, sir. Make your calling and election sure. I don't want to forget where God has brought me from. Amen. I said, I don't want to forget where God has brought me from. Come on, man. But I know I've got to I've got to keep adding to. There's no place to stop growing in God. Amen. There's no place for you to stop growing in God. That's right. There's no place for you to stop seeking the things of God going after the things of God. Because if we stop, if we stop growing in Him, we start dying. Amen. That's right. If you stop growing in God spiritually, you start dying. Yes, sir, we do. That's why you have to add two. That's why you have to add two. Make your calling and election sure. He said, back up in verse 3, according as His divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness 
through the knowledge of him that what? Has called us. Make that calling sure. Has Amen. called us to glory and virtue. And I like this. Now, I looked up the word that glory and virtue. And you could you could read this uh, uh, this way when you translated those words from the Hebrew. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to shine in power. Huh? Huh? Glory means, can mean honor or it can mean to shine. The Bible says we're a light to the world. Yes, what does sir. the light do? It shines. Yes, sir. He's called us to shine. All right. And virtue. That word virtue can mean, means excellency or power. So not only has he called us to shine, He's called us to power. Amen. He's given us the power to let our light shine. Thank you. He's given us the power to add these things to our faith. That if we'll do these things, and if these things be in us, Amen. we can abound in Him. But he said, but he that lacketh these things, come on. What, what did he tell the rich young ruler that came to him that day and said, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said, Well, keep the command. He, you know, and he named it. He said, Well, all these have I done from my youth up. He said, Yeah, but you like one thing. That's right. You like one thing. Mm -hmm. Sell all that you have, distribute among the poor, take up your cross and follow me. Amen. He didn't want to give, go any further. He left us. Went away sad because he had much goods. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Mm -hmm. oh. God didn't call us to repentance. God didn't call us to salvation. Just to say, well, okay, I'm saved, and then forget about the rest. He called us to add to. Yes, he did. Yes, he called did. us to be fruitful. Amen. To bear fruit. He called us to reach others. To make your calling an election sure. That's all I'm saying. Should that trumpet sound today? Are you sure? That you'd be going home to be with Jesus? If if he was to come, say, God, say God scheduled to come at four o'clock this afternoon, what things would I be doing to make sure things were right? What things would I need to make right in my life? Should that trumpet sound today? Well, if, if there's something going over in my mind that I need to make right right now? Whether he comes today or not, I'm still going to have to make it right to go home to be with him. Amen. Whatever that trumpet Yeah. So as as they sing today, are you sure? Be sure. Be sure. Be sure. Be sure of this one thing that God's coming back. Most of all, be sure of where you stand with God. Be sure you'll make it out of here should that trumpet sing. Make your calling and election sure today. As they sing this morning. If you want to come, I, I, I don't care how long you've been in this or how, how long you've been doing If you want to come, just say, God, I want to make sure. I want you to come today as they sing.